Hi everyone, it's another week and it's December 22nd and I actually did two store today because I have to be out of town all week so I decided to go ahead and do Walgreens and CVS at the same day which is sometimes I do that once in a while and then sometimes I just focus on one store so I don't get confused and I'm not like rushing you know I can take my time and do the same thing over and over again which is a good practice to do the same transaction over and over again but this week has been a busy week and I just want to make sure before I leave that I use up all my coupons that are expiring on December 26 now I just want to go over this real quick I'm gonna start with Walgreens since that one is like the easiest one this week is actually the same deal with the paper, uh, the paper towel and the toilet paper. So, right here, oop, I hope you guys can see the Scott's toilet, the Sc Scott's paper towel is actually on sale this week for three ninety nine with my military discounts. It's um three thirty nine, and I used the monthly coupon booklet, which is a dollar off of one. And you can scan that coupon just one time. So I got, I believe, 18 of the Scots in one um, transaction. And then this one, the Cottonelle, is the same deal. Um, $3.99 for regular and 15% 15, 15 off military is $3.39. I got 10 of these and I got 10 of the blue one. And... I used my points last week, which was um, from the Hallmark and the Bear Contour. So if you guys want to see the video of the week before, you can always um, scroll through all the videos and you can see each week all my um, YouTube videos. And I also have a class that you can also pay attention to. And so with all the points that I got, I ended up getting 806,000 points. So I was happy to get some free paper towels and spend 40,000 points to get $50. And that's a savings of $10. So the more you spend in points, the more you save. If you only wanted to spend $35, it's only going to save you $5, which is 30,000 points. And if you wanted to do $20, you're going to use 18,000 points. I try to make sure I'm right in those denominations. I, I try very hard to master what the denomination is so that I don't have to pay anything. So with that transaction, 20 Cottonelle and 18 Scots, I only paid 55 cents. That's including my tax. Now, if you guys don't know that with the balance rewards points, it can pay towards your tax, not like register rewards you can't um, pay towards tax so that's a good thing also so I got a lot of paper towels a lot of toilet paper that will never go bad it's not a bad deal it's actually good it'll last you a lifetime and if people are wondering what am I gonna do with those believe me they go by really fast there's four in our family and my mom has like eight brothers and sisters and then I have like a bunch of cousins. They come to my house and they raid me. So that's what happened to all the paper towels. Now let's continue on and I'm gonna talk about CVS. CVS, um, I do something special with CVS. I don't like getting limited to only one extra care bug. So I always make sure I get rain checks and I always get enough rain check to cover the number of coupons I have. So if I have like 20, um, four coupons, I want to make sure I get six rain checks. Because for this rain check, it actually says four per quantity. So I try to make sure I get enough rain checks. And with the rain check, they never expire. The only thing you have to worry about, the coupons, they expire at the end of the month um, at the end of the month this one expires in December 26 so I had to use it right away and if I buy four of the Tide Pods or gain for $3.94 I would get a five dollar um, it's actually a five dollar extra care buck 
and you can see they print it off it doesn't print off with the re with the receipt they have to do this manually and the good thing about it is that I'm not limited to one per card I can actually use as many rain check in one card so what I do is I roll the extra care buck the same extra care buck to another rain check so my out-of-pocket would be a lot cheaper which is a good technique for you guys to know a lot of people don't know that and they think they're only limited to one so this is what I got I got you can get four of these or four of these now you can see that this is only 14 count it used to be 16 but it's still a good deal if you're not really paying that much I think I only ended up paying two dollars for four and I think when I did a bunch of them um, I rolled some extra care bucks from the Revlon now I'm actually using the Revlon as my eyeshadow today just because I'm testing it so my eyeshadow right now is the color most of the brown color on the left side this is actually a money maker I don't have the coupons anymore because I used them all and um, I didn't co collect any extra care buck I might have to do it on Saturday when they're all sold out so the Revlon is actually a good deal because it was a money maker I used my 24 dollar extra care buck that's the maximum you can get for Revlon you can do it um, six times and get four dollars each in a separate transaction or you can do it all in one transaction and it would print out either $24 or for instance with this one I only did 10 of them in one transaction so it only printed out um, $12 for me and that's a good deal because that's a money maker as you can see the Revlon is on sale let me go on this side so it's on sale for $3.29 and the manufacturer coupon below is $3 off so you're only paying 29 cents for each but you're getting $12 back which is a good deal and that is actually about it that's what I bought this week there was a lot of clearance items but um, I was just trying to save up all my points because believe me after Christmas everything is going down there's gonna be a lot of stuff on clearance all those gift set will be on clearance and you'll have coupons for those so you make sure you stay tuned you follow us on YouTube and also don't forget to subscribe and like the YouTube um, video and share with all your friends and follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com um, forward slash extreme couponing to save.com I'll have it listed below so you don't forget and all the breakdown will be at the website and at the Facebook um, page and if you have any questions you guys can always email me and my name again is Elaine thank you so much for tuning in and you guys have a wonderful day